it is about it's almost seven o'clock it's like 6 58 so it's almost seven o'clock class starts at 7 30 so i usually like to be in there by like 7 15 because um if you're not in nursing school yet this is something that you'll learn being 15 minutes early is considered on time being on time is considered being late so they want you there early and ahead of time so by the time class starts or clinical starts or whatever you're there for um you're kind of ready to go already that's why i'm here as early as I am. Um, I don't have to leave my house at 6.30. I could really leave by like 6.45 and still be fine. If I left by 7, that'd really be pushing it with traffic. Um, I could leave by like 6.45, but I just don't like to push it because I'd much rather be here super early than be rushing around for time and be late. So that's why I'm here so early. Um, it's super cold out. It's 26 degrees out. That's why I like have a turtleneck on and this vest on. Um, and my hair is just thrown up because I was so cold this morning. I was like, my outfit will be semi cute because I think this sweater is pretty cute. Um, I can show it to you. It's just this purple sweater. I think it's cute, but um, beyond that, I'm like not trying at all. Not even slightly. So, yeah, that's what kind of what I'm doing. I'm just sitting here hanging out. Um, we have a parking garage at my school, but I parked in the parking lot today because um, if you saw my Instagram a couple posts back, I got a new car. I have a Honda Civic now. So I got a Honda Civic and before I was driving a Jeep Wrangler and the Wrangler is like still in my family. My dad sold, he also had a Jeep Wrangler. He sold his Wrangler, took mine from me and then I got this car and um, we did that just to save gas because I was paying what I pay on my car payment in my Civic in gas alone in my Jeep. So it was really expensive and just not worth it. But because of that, I have a pass for the parking garage. Um, it's like a little scanny thing that you use to get into the garage because the garage is locked. It's only for like us and like the staff and stuff. I normally use the parking garage and we're not supposed to use the parking lot. It's supposed to be for like, I don't know, like people who need easier assistance to like the building and stuff. I don't know. So like old people, I guess. So they don't like us to use the parking lot, but I don't have my pass, so I can't get into the parking garage today. So I'm using the parking lot, even though I know I shouldn't. Hopefully I don't get in trouble. Um, but yeah, so I'm just kind of hanging out right now. I will head inside in a few minutes. Like I said earlier, from 7.30 to 9.30, I have patho, and then I have a break from 9.30 to 10.30. Usually I'll like eat lunch or, I know it's super early for lunch, but I'm starving by the time that like 9.30 comes around. So usually I'll eat lunch or get a snack or something. And then I have class from 11.30 to 1.30 on Fridays. And that's Foundations of Nursing. So I'm going to be kind of busy throughout the day. You probably won't get to see much of that just because I don't know how much I can film in class. I don't think I can film much at all without it being like weird and obvious. Um, and I wanted to apologize for the quality of this video. The like little vlogging camera that I have... Um, I can't find the battery for it. I have the charger, but I can't find the battery and it's not in the camera. So right now I'm filming on my iPhone. Um, so I apologize for the quality. Hopefully by like this time next week, I'll be able to have found the um, battery and can film that better, like film on a better camera for you guys. But yeah, so that's what my day's looking like right now. I was hoping to go to the gym after class and go run, but my gym for some reason is under construction. Well, not for some reason. The whole gym is under construction. They like got new owners and were like bought out by a company and so they're changing the whole layout. But usually, like I thought all the construction was done, but I guess the cardio section, so like where the treadmills and the bikes and all that stuff is, um, is being remodeled. And so instead of closing the whole gym for yesterday and today, they've just like blocked off that section so you can't get back there. And all the treadmills and like bikes and everything have been pulled out onto like the side. And because they're not plugged in, you can't use them like they don't work so i can't go running today and i don't want to go running outside because it is 26 degrees so um i'll probably just go home and do some homework i was supposed to be babysitting on saturday night because if you guys follow have followed me for a little bit you might know this um but every other saturday i babysit my boyfriend works every other weekend and so i've coordinated with this family that on the weekends that he's working i babysit i was supposed to be babysitting for them tomorrow night but they um, had to cancel the husband is sick so it looks like I'm gonna get a pretty chill weekend which would be nice I'm gonna do a lot of homework a lot of studying and I was thinking about just combi combining a 
a vlog from today and like this weekend so you guys can see kind of like a weekend and a school day day in the life type of thing we'll see what happens if I have um, enough footage from today then I'll just do today so I guess you guys will see based on how long this video is but yeah that's about it um, I'm just gonna go home and study after class today and probably just hang out a little bit I don't really know what else I'm gonna do we'll just play it by ear but I will catch up with you guys in a little bit I'm about to head into the building because it is 705 now and I need to get going I need to be in there by within the next 10 minutes so I'm gonna head on in there and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit bye It's almost 1.30. So normally we don't get out of class until 1.30, but I got out a little bit early today, which is nice. Um, we did an exam review, which is just like going over the content of the exam, like the previous exam. So the one we took last week for foundations, we went over any answers that we got wrong. And all my answers that I got wrong, like I definitely had no clue what the answers were. I was just guessing randomly. So that kind of makes me feel a little bit better just because I'm like, at least I didn't feel confident in the answers. At least I know that I like totally had no clue. So now I'm gonna go home. I might meet my mom for coffee at the hospital. My mom, if you don't know, she's a neonatal nurse practitioner. She normally has like pretty chill days. The hospital she works at has a very small NICU. I think they only have like six beds or something. It's really small. So she's usually not doing a whole lot when she's not. Um, she can have dinner and coffee together. So I think I might go get coffee with her and then I have to pick up my brother from school at 3.15. And then other than that, I'm going to be doing homework. I might go and have dinner with her um, later tonight. If I do, I will update you guys on that. But for now, I'm just going to drive home and I'll catch up with you guys in a little while. So I'm about to walk inside and normally when I come home, my dog is like waiting right here in this window and I can see her. But she's not this time. So we are going to see where she is. Oh, Daisy! So I swear that my dog knows every time I get off the camera because she refuses to <laughs> look at the camera. She hates it. But now I know why she wasn't at the door. I think somebody came home, probably my dad came home early from work or something and gave her one of these <laughs> rawhide treats. That one right there. Because I don't know where else she would have gotten that from. She doesn't know how to get in the pantry. Oh, dude, oh, you look cute. But she was obviously way more excited about that treat than to see me. So that's why she wasn't at the door. Okay, all right, fine. I'll turn off the camera. I'll let you <laughs> eat your treat. Hi, guys. So I just made a little snack. Um, my mom bought these, like, little, like, half pita shells. You can They're, like, half pita shells, and then on the inside, it's just, like, a little bit of chicken and cheese. They're not the greatest things in the world, like, health-wise for you at all, but I'm starving, and I didn't know what else to make, and they're easy, and they're fast, so that's what I'm eating. So I'm going to have that, and I'm probably going to watch some Scandal or some How to Get Away with Murder. Hi, guys. So I'm getting ready to... Well, hang on. I'm trying to put my best on. I'm getting ready to head out the door. I have to go get my brother from school, and I don't know why, but all of a sudden, I just got so freaking tired. Like, I'm exhausted. So I'm going to eat some chocolate. I know this is probably not a good idea. Hang on, I'm going to sit on the counter. <laughs> oh, that's scary. Okay. Hang on. Stay right there. This is a really cute angle. Get some chocolate out. All of the Twix are gone. We have like these mini chocolates. I don't even know where. Ooh. I'm just dropping everything. I don't know where they came from, to be completely honest. Um, but we have them. Now I have to find my keys. The real dilemma. Oh, there they are. On the ground. Okay, now I'm ready to go get my brother. Uh, but like I was saying, I am exhausted. I really could use a nap. So I think I'm going to go get him. And then I'm going to come home and sleep. Because I'm so tired. I swear, if you're in nursing school and you're not tired, how? Tell me how. Bye, doodle. We'll be right back. 
tell me how because I don't understand it. I'm exhausted all the freaking time. All the time. Okay, now I gotta go get my brother. Okay, just got in the car. I'm gonna see if I can manage this whole like, hold on. I'm gonna see if I can manage this, ah, I'm already failing. I was gonna say, I'm gonna see if I can manage this whole like driving with my phone propped up thing. Uh -huh. So far so good, back in all the driveway. Ah. Oh, we're doing okay. All right. Woo, look at us go. Okay, so yeah, it's about, um, it's like three, almost 3.15. He gets out at 3.15, but his school is literally down the street. It's like not even a mile away. I can totally walk there. But it's 39 degrees, so I'm not gonna do that. So I'm gonna go pick him up, turn right around, come home. I am so tired, like I was saying five seconds ago. I am exhausted. I don't know how people like do this. I don't know if it's because like throughout the week I'm just spending so much time doing homework. So I was trying to drive and film at the same time and as you guys probably saw, my it like didn't work out. My phone ended up falling down like down underneath like my legs by where the pedals are it fell on there so i picked it up and now i'm parked outside of my brother's school and i can't talk to you guys but like i was saying i'm so tired all the time and i feel like no matter what i do i'm always tired like coffee is my best friend i drink coffee all the time maybe that doesn't help um also i'm stupid it's probably part of my b12 vitamin d deficiency um if you didn't see my recent post on my instagram about my blood results i'm deficient in uh vitamin b12 vitamin d and my testosterone is like obscenely low so i started taking vitamin d today i took 6,000 like units it's not like milligrams or anything it's a unit i took 6,000 of those and then my doctor told me to take five but the pills i got only come in 2,000 units per pill so i'm just gonna take six b12 i'm taking a thousand units and it's like a dropper i have to put like under my tongue i hold it there until it like almost dissolves and then i kind of just swallow it at the same time so i started that today but i'm like i'm so exhausted and it's probably part of that but like i go to bed at a reasonable time i go to bed at like 10 o'clock every night i don't stay up super late i mean i do wake up at like five so that's exhausting but other than that, I'm not up super late, so I don't know why I'm tired all the time, but I'm waiting for my brother right now. Oh, there he is. He's crossing the street, walking my car. I'm waiting for him, then I will drive home, and I'm totally going to take a nap because I'm, like, dead. But, yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I'm going to go home and sleep, and then I'll update y'all in a little bit. Welcome to a day in life of a nursing student where I go to class, and then I come home and sleep. <laughs> and I catch a bunch of shows that I can never watch during the week because of school. <laughs> okay, I'll just... I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Hi guys, so I'm laying on the couch. My dog is laying on the floor. Where's my funny Instagram? <sighs> I tried to take a nap and it's just not working. Even though I know I'm exhausted, it's just not going my way. So I think instead I'm going to put all this footage on my computer and start editing it. Um, usually a day in the life of a nursing student wouldn't look like this. I'd usually be doing homework and like, I know I should start my flashcards, but because that family that I babysit for canceled. I know that I'll have a lot of time like Saturday night after my brother's football game is his football game during the day Saturday. So I think I'm just gonna put that off and like right now my brain is way too fried to do anything related to school. So I think I'm gonna start editing this and then once I've done that, I will start making flashcards. So stay tuned. Hi guys, so you can see I haven't moved. I'm just chilling. Um, I finished what I need to do on the computer, and now it's like 5.15, and I'm going to eat with my mom at 5.30. So I'm going to get ready to head out the door, and I'll see y'all when I get back. Hi, guys. So it is now almost 7.30. I just got back from having dinner with my mom. It was really good. And the cafeteria, the cafeteria at her hospital isn't really a cafeteria. It's a restaurant. It's like a full-on sit-down restaurant with a menu and waiters and everything. So it's super nice. We love going to eat there, like, all the time. And so me and my brother, my brother's best friend, Toby, went. And then my dad went out. One of his close, like, personal friends that we've known, he's known since, like, well before I was born. So at least 21 years. Um, is going through some personal stuff so they decided to meet up and have dinner together so he's off doing that and we just got back and we went to Rita's um, if you don't know what Rita's is it's an Italian ice and custard place and like the top here normally has a swirl of custard but like I'm in the process of like mixing it all around and I ate some of it um, this is only a small and like 
I'm already full. It's so big. They have such like big portions because like as you can see it's like the size of my hand is so small. Um, but it's super good. I got the mango and peach flavor which is sugar free and like you would not know it's sugar free because it tastes so good. But yeah so I got that. My brother and his friend are downstairs and they're going to have a sleepover and now I'm just watching How to Get Away with Murder and eating my ice cream that there's no way I'm going to be able to finish because I'm so full. Um, but yeah, I've changed into some comfy clothes and I'm just chilling out. I was planning to do homework today, but honestly my brain is fried and I'm exhausted. So I really don't think I'm going to. I'm probably just going to put that off till tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. Hi guys, so I thought I'd give you a little update. It is about, it's almost 9 o'clock. It's 8.45 and I'm currently working on my paper. I have a paper that's due for foundations of nursing um and it's due well the rough draft is due sunday night by like like 9 59 p.m i think um but i barely started i'm like working on the introduction right now and then the final version of it isn't due for a couple weeks but the rough draft is due sunday so i'm working on that now i figured it'd be a good idea to like work on that it's something i can do while i just like watch tv and just kind of hang out so i'm working on that now um, i'm hoping to get quite a bit of it done just because i don't want to start studying for my exam on monday until i have this done since this is due first once i get in the group of studying i don't like to get distracted with like other forms of work so like I'd like to just study and just focus on studying, opposed to like studying for a little bit, work on my paper, study a little bit, work on my paper. I'd like to just finish my paper and then study all the way through and not have to worry about anything else. So I'm working on that right now. My paper is on kangaroo care. And if you don't know what kangaroo care is, it's skin to skin contact. And if you don't know what that is, um, it's with newborn babies and their moms. It's usually seen in the NICU, so the neonatal intensive care unit um, with preterm babies or babies that are ill, babies that have to go to the NICU because because there is that initial separation um, where the babies have to be taken away from the mom to the NICU staff to be cared for because they're sick opposed to like full-term healthy babies usually get to stay with their mom and immediately have contact so skin to skin is really important with NICU babies because it allows for that maternal infant connection to be more solidified than with a uh, normal baby who just got that immediate connection with the mom of course um term babies and their mothers can do this too but it's especially important in the NICU where that there is that initial separation and the way kangaroo care works is the mom will like expose her chest either just have her shirt completely off or just be naked from like probably like belly up or waist up whichever you're comfortable with it's really just exposing the chest area and then they'll have the baby in just the baby's diaper lay the baby directly on the mother's chest so that her skin and the baby's skin are touching and it's just a way for the baby and the mom to bond and connect and there's actually been a ton of research on it um and so that's what i'm writing about is just the research for the benefits of it so that's what i'm writing my paper on it has to be like 8 to 11 pages but that's including like the cover page which is a, just a title and then the references so really it has to be like six to nine pages so it's not as bad I almost have like a page just with the introduction so I'm working through it but that's what I'm doing right now and like I said it's 8 50 now almost nine o'clock so I'm just gonna keep working on this for a little bit and I have America's Next Top Model on Hulu and yeah I'm just hanging out so I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Hi guys, so it is now almost 10 o'clock. Sorry, my boyfriend texted me and it like popped up on my watch, so I was reading it. Um, but yeah, it's almost 10 o'clock and I think I'm gonna head to bed. I'm exhausted. I'm about four pages into my paper, which is a good start. Um, that means I have four to six more to go and then I'll be done, so that'll be good. Um, but I think I'm gonna hit the hay for tonight. Thank you guys so much for following along today for my day in the life vlog. I know it was probably a bit boring because I had class all day, um, and I didn't show you a whole lot because I didn't study too much, but if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see more of these kind of videos, comment below and let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.